Leading her first overseas mission in her new role, the Foreign Secretary will fly to Delhi and Mumbai to hold talks with officials in Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government. She is expected to discuss the prospects of a wide-ranging new trade deal as part of a diplomatic dialogue about strengthening UK links with the economic powerhouse. New cooperation agreements covering technology, finance and infrastructure projects are due to be agreed during her visit. A source close to the Foreign Secretary said, closer ties with India are a big benefit of Brexit. We need to look to faster growing parts of the world and boost economic and security ties with key partners like India. Speaking ahead of her arrival, the Foreign Secretary said, I want the UK and India to step up their partnership in critical areas like technology, investment, security and defence. India is the world's largest democracy, a tech and economic powerhouse and a vital strategic partner for the UK. Mustras is set to agree deals for sharing British technological expertise and deepening investment links. Deals to be announced during her visit will include Build Circle £11.5 million UK investment in two venture capital funds aimed at supporting India's transition to cleaner energy. Build Circle £50.4 million investment by the Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Office's investment arm to fund green technology infrastructure projects across India through a joint green growth equity fund. Build Circle £500,000 UK Research and Innovation UKRI, investment to build a new virtual network of UK and Indian labs working to promote net zero carbon emission targets in manufacturing industries. The Foreign Secretary's visit follows Boris Johnson and Mr Modi agreeing a new roadmap for strengthening UK-India relations. Ms. Truss will help to lay the groundwork for talks on a UK-India free trade deal, with International Trade Secretary Anne-Marie Trevelyan due to begin detailed negotiations over the coming months. In Mumbai tomorrow, the Foreign Secretary will spend some time with the Royal Navy's Carrier Strike Group, which is visiting the city's port.